There is another ayat which we specify the night time. If you look for the Maryam 19 and 10 and 11. قال رب اجعل لي آية قال آيتك لا تكلم الناس ثلاث ليال سبيا فخرج على قومي من المحراب فأوحى إليهم أن أن سبحوا بكرة وعشية he said my lord make me an ayah for me he said your ayah sign is that you do not speak to mankind three nights straight jointly three nights you will not speak so he came out from the chamber over his people that he inspired towards them that glorified at break, early morning and the first darkness of the night. So he was using, in other words, the body language. You understand what I'm saying? Again, he was using the body. There is three days, three nights, complete three nights. That means uh, a day of 24 hours is day and night. So day he was using body language and then in the night, he was remembering Allah from the Maghrib or the uh, Maghrib till Fajr. He was mostly remembering Allah, remember Allah. So the conclusion, these ayahs I have discussed to establish the point that the, there are types of fast. The first type of fast was not to speak. You understand what I'm saying? These, this, this, this was the narration. I have, these are the two prophets. Uh, sorry, one prophet, Zechariah and another Maria. These were unusual information was given to them and they could not comprehend how it's going to happen. So Allah says, likewise it will happen, but for what you have to do, you have to fast for three days for Zechariah Sam and for Maryam. Whenever you see a man, you fast. You said, I have, I have fasted not to speak. You point to the babe. That's what he did. She did. So in what, what is the conclusion? Now, Allah, uh, to them, angels came. Or Allah speak to him. Uh, to. So now I would like to emphasize that we people are reading the Quran and in the Quran, the prophets are delivering the message. So they are giving good news and warnings from Allah. So in other words, Allah is communicating by the book of Allah at the same time, the message you receive from the book of Allah is a good news and warnings. So once you've understood any aspect of an ayah or the essence is clear to you, you have to fast. You cannot speak immediately until unless you, be, you are convinced of it, it is clarified to you. It is clarified to you and it, you have taken the guidance from it convinced of it, guidance of it and you start practicing it and once it becomes a part of yourself then you speak the ayahs and speaking ayat is referring to the ayahs not your own understanding about the ayat so now I will, exp I will just you write down these two references which are not in the booklet Surah Anam 6 Ayah 67 and Surah al 49, Ayah 6. Now in Surah Anam 6 and Ayah 67, the Ayah says, this is a very small Ayah. Look, لِكُلِّ نَبَئِمْ مُسْتَقَرْ فَسَوْفَ تَعْلَمُونَ For every prophecy or news is a period of time. And soon you will know. This is Ayah. It says, Likulli Nabain, Nabain, Naba comes from the, uh, Naba means prophecies. Or the prophets, when they deliver the message, are prophecies. Nabuwat is prophethood. And Naba is prophecy. And any ayah, essence when you receive, is basically news, but with a prophecy. It's a prophecy. No, no, ordinary news that you read a newspaper. It's news. But when you read an ayah, when the ayat is essence is clear to is a prophecy. So Allah says, for every prophecy that is mentioned in the ayat, there is a period of time. It doesn't, say, it doesn't say how many days, how many months. It's a period of time and soon you will know. So what I am trying to convey by this ayat, whenever you conceive an ayat or understand an essence of an ayah, 
so how much period of time it takes for me to to conceive to believe to take guidance to practice and clarify how much i don't know it has to upon choice it's not three days only it is not one day it depends upon the individual so it's a likulli nabai mustaqar for every prophecy there is a period of time and soon you will know now what happened in generally people they did not understood this and what they did is whenever any message of allah is clear to them without practicing without believing it they want to share it to the others what for to show that i have got knowledge you are wrong hujjah 49:6 ya ayyul ladina amanu in jaakum fasiqun bi nabain fatabayyanu an tusibu qaumun bi jahalatin fatusbihu ala ma fa'alu nadimin o oh, you you believe whenever a fasiq or a liberal person comes to you speaking the, the prophecy prophecy he comes with the prophecy prophecy i told you is the uh, the message of allah's ayas you fatabayyu you see clarification meaning you understand properly you believe in that you practice it then you listen otherwise what you will do uh, so that you may not reach people to this that prophecy with ignorance then you begin the day regretting what you have done so i have noticed in the world that there are non muslims quoting the ayas non muslims believe me they don't believe it they just quote an argument for an for a, for an argument to against you what for he's a fasi he's a liberal person he doesn't care he's just quoting an ayas for you and misinterpreting also in the world there are many problems going on the quranic verses this is a problem going on so allah says ya ayyul ladina amanu oh you believe you must listen to it carefully in in jaakum fasiqun bin nabain if a person is a liberal person i am liberal taking the liberty of not practicing the ayas not taking the guidance and but quoting ayas giving the prophecy to who to the other to the other people so you see clarification from him instead you you forward this message to other people and then you will feel sorry about it and and first example ex person he is he is a liberal person he doesn't practice so many things but he is talking about the quran so you heard this message you understood the message and immediately you brought, said to another to some some of your friends that this guy is in this and he is talking about he is a fast suppose a liberal person he doesn't practice so allah say you will be shameful you will feel nadim why did i do it he must be speaking the correct but the point is he is a fasi he is taking the liberty of not practicing he is just informing the giving you the knowledge knowledge and guidance are two separate things if i have got the knowledge of something and if i don't believe and practice this this empty words it means nothing but you may be impressed that's the psyche of a human being that we try to impress other people of certain knowledge because we people are hungry of knowledge of anything we want to know what is true and what is factual so if we know something which is true and factual and this guy delivers you this message and he doesn't practice so you 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 think that he's got knowledgeable so what you must clarify is he practicing you must clarify from him so that is why the the fasting of psychological fasting i had to discuss first because mostly people do not know of this type of fast of not talking or not speaking the ayas essence when is clear to us from the book of allah because the prophets are appointed by allah who give good news or warns fa ba'atha allah nabiyyin mubashshirin wa munzirin wa anzala ma'ahum alkitab bil haqq that allah appointed prophets to give good news to mankind and he they warn to mankind and with them he revealed the book so whatever the understanding when we read the ayats the prophets are addressing to mankind in the quran musa salam is addressing to people nuh al salam is addressing to people jesus peace be upon him is addressing to people every messenger prophet is addressing to the people in the book of allah
So the essence that you receive is the good news, a prophecies from the from Allah. So once you've understood the essence of that message, what you have to do? You cannot share it to the people unless you are convinced and believed and have taken guidance, then you share. This is a fast of lawful thing. This is lawful to talk about the ayahs. It's right to talk about the ayahs. Okay, this is psychological, this is lawful. But Allah said, no, until unless. So for Allah said, for every prophecy, there's a, there's a period of time, and soon you will know it. So that period of time, you have to take that period of time to conceive it properly. <clears throat> now coming to the topic, so now we'll see what the Quran says about the physical fasting. It mentions Surah Al-Baqarah 2 and Ayah 185. شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ الَّذِي أُنزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنُ هُدًا لِلنَّاسِ وَبَيِّنَاتٍ مِنَ الْهُدَى وَالْفُرْقَانِ فَمَنْ شَهِدَ مِنْكُمُ الشَّرَ فَلْيَسُمُهُ وَمَنْ كَانَ مَرِيدًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرَ يُرِدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَ وَلَا يُرِدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرَ وَلِتُكْمِلُوا الْعِدَّةَ وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا اللَّهَ عَلَى مَا أَهْدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ رمضان is that month, month in which Al-Qur'an, the reading has been revealed as a guide for mankind and the clarification from the guidance and from the criterion so from whom, from you whosoever witnessed that month, then he should fast it. Those who are sick or on a journey, then counting or numbering is from the other days. Allah intends easiness for you and he does not intend any difficulty for you. That you complete the counting or numbering so, and so that you greaten Allah over what he guided you and that you may be thankful. In this ayah, Allah is clarifying or telling us, informing us that in the month of Ramadan, we have to fast. In the month of Ramadan, we have to fast. Now before I explain the, another thing I would like to inform you here, there are two types of uh, months in, in the world. One is by the solar system, there's a month, and one is by the lunar system. I will not go into detail, I just want to make a difference, and the difference of, of 10 days, I suppose, 10 days. The lunar month is 10 days lesser than the solar month. And these solar months, we Muslims believe in both systems, because they are created by Allah in the ayahs. From the solar days, and from the solar months, we follow our salah, the practice. We practice the salah practice. The timing of the salah, prayer is from the solar days. Listen to me very good, the solar, the solar days. The fajr prayer, and the, all the timing of the salah prayer is by the solar system. So we Muslims are following, we have made a watch, following the solar system. Earth revolving on its axis and its orbit. When it completes on axis, it's one day. And when it completes its orbit, it's one year. Similarly, the moon is on its axis moving and it also moves in its orbit. It takes a year in an orbit and one day of a moon revolves on its axis is one day of the moon. The second uh, system that the Muslims are following is the lunar months. And the lunar months is of 29 and 30 days. It is of 29 days or 30 days, lunar month. So the Quran has made, I will not go into detail, I'm just explaining to you, the Quran has, Allah has uh, made one year of a lunar, by lunar also, and by solar also. We know this. So the lunar, in lunar months, he had made four months sacred. Four months sacred, or four minute months in a year of a lunar, lunar months. Among the lunar months, four months are sacred or holy or forbidden months. And there are certain things in that months, for in that four months, that lawful things are made unlawful. Or abstain, sorry, not unlawful, they are abstained in a, for a period of time. So the, the month of Ramadan 
is one of the month of sacred month or a holy month or a forbidden month. Ramadan is the ninth month of a calendar. Ninth month. And in that month of Ramadan, what happens? The Quran is being revealed. A guidance for mankind in the month of Ramadan. How? In the Tarawi. All over the world, you see the Imam recites the Tarawi, in the Tarawi, the whole Quran in the month of Ramadan. In the month of Ramadan, the Quran is being revealed. People that go, we, we, we Muslims, and join the prayers or to listen to the Quranic ayats. If you do not understand, that's your problem. But the system Allah ordained in the sacred mosque and all the mosques of the world, which the Qibla is, their Qibla is facing to sacred mosque, are practicing the sunnah of the prophets in all time. The Quran is being revealed. So people are standing and bowing and prostrating everything. What's going on in the Masjid al-Ram and all over the world. So Quran, why we are, Allah, we are, Allah is asking to fast in that month because the Quran is being revealed as a guidance for mankind. And it is a guidance from the criteria for and it's a clarification from the criterion. The Quran is a criterion to judge between right and wrong and a guidance. So you can get guidance from the Quran because the Quran is being revealed the month of Ramadan. And in purpose Allah says a guidance for mankind. So now, if you know this, that is why Allah is asking you to fast. So in the fast, you abstain the lawful food. You abstain for the lawful drinks from sunrise to sunset. The time is will come in the eyes. Why, you must understand why we are fasting in the month of Ramadan. Why? Because the Quran is sent down. And it is, Sunnah is being carried all over the world. In all over the world, in all parts of the world, the Imam, the leader recites the Quran. It is being sent down, continuously sent down, you are standing behind the, in the Tarawih, you listen to the ayahs of Allah. You don't take guidance, that's your problem. But it is purpose of Allah is that the Quran is a guidance for mankind. So that, but Allah says, whoever is a witness of that month, he should fast. Witness of the month of Ramadan, in which the Quran is being revealed, sent down. So now he says, Woman kind of maridana while suffering, and whoever is uh, sick, uh, Marie is being sick, or on a journey, so he should count the, this count number of days in other, other days. So here it is mentioned this, there is another ayat which explains how and what. So we go to the next ayat. So in this ayah, Surah Al-Baqarah 2 and Ayah 183, it says, Ya you are Ladina Amanu, Kutiba Alikumus Riyam, Kama Kutiba Ladina min Koblikum, La Alakum Tatakun. Further to 184, I says, Ayaman Madudat, Faman Kana Minkum Maridan, Aw Allah Safarin, Faida to Min Ayamin Ohal. Wa Ladina Yutrikunahu, Fidiatu, Fidiatun Tahamu Miskin. فَمَنْ تَطَوَّعَ خَيْرًا فَهُوَ خَيْرُ اللَّهِ وَأَنْ تَصُومُوا خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ And Al-Baqarah 2, Ayah 183 says, O you who believe, fasting is written over you like what was written over those before you, that you may take God. Now in this ayah, Allah is addressing to the believers, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, O you who believe, is not addressing to the Jews and the Christians. It is addressing to the believers of all times. It says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, fasting is written or prescribed over you as it was prescribed before you, so that you take God. In this ayat, you get two, two, underst two understandings, very, very, you must understand what two essence of these two ayat in the ayat, these two portions very important. One is the purpose of fasting, to take God. And how will you take God? By abstaining or fasting 
the lawful food which is lawful so you will abstain from the lawful food and drinks in the month of ramadan so your you will have taqwa will increase you will guard you will, you will develop the habit of guarding your psyche the lawful and it is also one more, more point it is addressing as it was prescribed before you that means in all times fasting to the believers was prescribed exactly the same it never changed when we fasting when are we fasting what time period in the month of ramadan in the month of ramadan was not invented 1400 years back it was there in the quran ninth month of the calendar month of ramadan was there so people were fasting before the advent of uh, so to say Muhammad peace be upon an event it was there the believers because this ayat is, was revealed so to say 1400 years back so it was addressing to the believers not to the Jews not to the Christians not to any non muslim it was said Ya Yuladinamanu believer you and believers at the past it is written on you and it, that Allah did not wrote after 1400 years it was written on mankind of all times that believers fasting is prescribed or written over you as it was prescribed written over before you so the Quran was there it was the revelation was there for people to fast in that month it is not an invention after 1400 people came to know how to fast and what to fast we are not Allah is not talking about the Jews and the Christians that they, they are also fasting. Why are you trying to mix their man-made concepts into Allah's ayahs? We are nobody to mix the concepts of man. The books written by the Christians and the Jews and their way of fasting has nothing to do with the fasting of Allah when Allah says about in the ayahs. When Allah says, you are you ladinamanu, it is referring to the believers of now, right now, at this moment, and before me, means before all time, till they when the from the time the immemorial it was there fasting we have to fast because the, in the month of Ramadan Quran is being sent down as a guidance for mankind do you want to say that before 1400 years there were no mankind were there monkeys guidance for mankind means of all time this Quran was sent down as a guidance for mankind from the days of immemorial wherever you can think of the Quran was there for the guidance of mankind Ramadan was there for the guidance of mankind and in that man mankind fasted the believers the believers fasted in that month and still today we are fasting who are fasting in the whole world all the nationalities all the language of the world men believers are fasting in that month it is not the Jews it was never the Christians why are you bringing those people into this ayat? It's not right. It's addressing to the believers. So you taqwa, you gain taqwa, you guard yourself. So you must understand when you read the ayat, you should read it in its distinct, clear form. You cannot mix your own ideology and philosophies to the ayat. Look, it was addressing to the, the Jews also fast. Why are you talking about this? Their fasting is nothing to do with this ayat. We are fasting because the, the Quran, Shahru Ramadan Alladi Unzila Fil Quran Hudalin Nas. We are fasting because the month of Ramadan is a holy sacred month, and in that month the Quran was sent down is a guidance for mankind of four times. And whoever Faman Shaida Min Kumushara Fal Yasumu, and whoever is a witness to that month, he should fast. That's it. We are fasting not because of our overhauling of our bodies. Yeah, people make unusual statements. We are forgetting the most important aspect of that is the revelation of the Quran for guidance. That Allah sent this Quran for guidance. We have to take guidance. The purpose of Quran is to take guidance, not cramming. What do you say? Cramming, ratifying. I don't know what you say in English. Cramming the Arabic and don't understand anything. And standing and thinking that they are taking guidance how can you take guidance when you don't even understand so purpose is to take guidance 
That is why we, if you are a president during that month, you should fast. That's the purpose. And now it says, Ayyama Ma'adudat. Why I'm saying, I explained to this lunar system, that Ayyama Ma'adudat means the numbers of the days are counted. So we count, because every month is not 30 days or 29 days. So Allah has used the word Ma'adudat, means the numbers are counted. It's not for fixed 30 months. Some people are saying it's wrong. No, I say it's 20. No. Ayyam Ma'aduda means days numbered or counted. So you count in the month of Ramadan, don't you? We count it is 29 or 30. So every time it's not 30 and it, every time it's not 29. So this is how. So Allah has used the word Ayyam Ma'aduda. You count the number of days, whether it's 29 or 30, you will come to know. And the, this lunar system is accurately going on. Whether it comes on Pakistan, uh, this uh, captain is sitting in my audience, he knows the fact that it will be there. You don't need to physically saw, see it. Because the, by calculation, the movement of the sun and the moon is accurately moving its orbit. It is never late. It doesn't stay. It ha whenever it comes on our country, it sh whether it's visible or not, it should be done. We, the experts, know. The who knows the navigations? They can calculate and can say, you can't see it, but the moon is there. But it doesn't say, Allah says, you should sight the moon physically. The science, you see, people have made watches, they have made so many things. Now you don't require all these things. But still people are living in dark ages, they want to see it and it was there at that time when you didn't have the invention. Now by calculation exact, by dot, navigator experts, the, 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 the person who knows these things, they know because the moon is traveling at a constant speed in its orbit. And whenever the earth, uh, the country of your country, it should be there. So it is not a confusion, this created by people. The, 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 what they say, the jury is sitting and looking and sighting and we didn't sight it. So it doesn't say about sighting at all. You know it. You, I say you, you. So you count these days.